three new stories for you uh, first viewers uh, massive air strikes are underway by ethiopian air force on several cities of tigray before the start of un security council's important session ethiopian air force has intensified its air strikes on at least four cities of tigray within the, within the past few hours air strikes have been reported we'll talk about that secondly uh, ridwan hussain an ethiopian minister has talked to anadolu agency which is turkish state backed news agency he was asked questions about national dialogue due to start in coming days whether tplf uh, will be part of this dialogue or not and what will be discussed uh, in the dialogue in, in, in this uh, national dialogue so he responded to these questions we'll have a look at his answers and thirdly viewers uh, a few hours ago tigray government made four demands i did a video on that i informed you in detail about tigray's four demands the demands were sent to a un security council which is due to meet uh, after a few hours before this uh, un security council's uh, meeting ethiopian envoy at the un has responded to these four demands of tigray government Tai at Sikke Selassi is uh, Ethiopian envoy at the UN. He has uh, released a message, which is in response to Tigray's four demands. We'll have a look at uh, the statement released by Ethiopian envoy at the UN. Firstly, viewers, uh, air strikes and drone strikes are underway on. at least four cities of tigray on southern tigray in raya air strikes and drone strikes are being conducted uh, we told you in previous video that alamata was hit uh, three times uh, uh, in the past uh, few days today once again reportedly air strikes were conducted on alamata Secondly, Koram to the north of Alamata was also hit. Thirdly, Matthew to the north of Koram was also hit by air strikes today. And fourthly, Makile in a previous video two hours ago, I told you about don't strike on Makile. So while. Tigray government is demanding no fly zone over Tigray it's calling upon UN Security Council uh, to implement a no fly zone over Tigray before the session of UN Security Council Ethiopian government forces Ethiopian air force has intensified its air strikes on southern Tigray Koram Alamata Matthew and makele have been hit by a strike today a message definitely a message from ethiopian government that uh, it uh, will not agree to uh, uh, a sort of uh, uh, any uh, decision of international community to implement or to decide no fly zone over tigray Uh, and secondly uh, these air strikes uh, might have been some last attempt to weaken tigray's military capability because we are hearing that talks could start between the warring factions in ethiopia so before the start of these talks maybe ethiopian air force might be trying to weaken tigray's military capability as much as possible but it's unconfirmed uh, about the start of talks we don't have any credible information but some sources do say that talks could start in coming days secondly viewers uh, 
Ridwan Hussain, Ethiopian minister, uh, who was in Turkey to attend Turkey-Africa summit along with PM Abi Ahmed, was interviewed by Anadolu agency, Turkish state packed news agency. He was asked questions about uh, upcoming national dialogue. Ethiopian government is going to start national dialogue in coming days. Inclusive political dialogue, Ethiopian government says. He was asked a question about TPLF. Will TPLF be part of this dialogue? He said, TPLF is not the only representative of Tigray. He is hinting at that other parties might be, other parties from Tigray could be part of the dialogue. Secondly, he said, if uh, TPLF is disarmed and if some criminal entities in Tigray are brought to justice then uh, he might uh, see them joining national dialogue. So he is calling for uh, uh, disarming of Tigray People Liberation Front means Tigray Defense Force. Then he was asked a question about uh, dialogue. What will be discussed? He said everything will be discussed, including Article 39. Article 39, one of the most discussed and the most controversial articles of Ethiopian constitution is about right to self-determination and right to secession. This article will also come under discussion. He said, this dialogue will be open. Each and every controversial topic will come under discussion. All articles of the constitution will be open for discussion. We don't know, but uh, who will be invited for this dialogue? Will OLA... Uh, uh, Tigray Population Front and other armed factions and political factions, will they be invited to this dialogue or not? We don't know. But uh, as I said earlier, if Ethiopia wants to make a new start, it must uh, ensure the participation of all these stakeholders. Lastly, viewers, uh, uh, last new story uh, is about a statement given by Ethiopian envoy at the UN. Tai Etske Selassie is Ethiopian envoy at the UN. He just uh, an hour ago issued a statement. And the statement was issued in response to four demands made by Tigray. Tigray president today wrote a letter to UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres. In the letter, he demanded four actions from international community. No fly zone over Tigray. Secondly, arms embargo on Ethiopian Eritrea. Thirdly, withdrawal of uh, Amhara and uh, Eritrean forces from Western and Northern Tigray. And lastly, establishment of a humanitarian corridor or demilitarized route for unhindered supply of aid to Tigray. In response to these four demands, Ethiopian envoy at the UN says, his exact words, quote unquote, TPLF thugs must be disarmed, demobilized, and perpetrators brought to justice. You see, their positions are poles apart. He is demanding disarming of Tigray Defense Force. Ethiopian envoy at the UN and Tigray government is demanding no fly zone over Tigray and arms embargo on Ethiopian Eritrea. Positions are poles apart. Their positions are definitely very extreme, uh, but uh, they can be brought together, they can reach a middle ground, it can happen. Important thing is that they must sit at the table. Once you start talking, then uh, your positions soften and you step back from some of your strong uh, positions. So talks should start. Ceasefire should come into force. 
Once that happens, then you'll see gradually things will move uh, uh, in a positive direction. That's hope. Thanks for watching.